Okay. So, after we talk about script window, why would you bother? So, we know in the console you can just add commands. So, two plus two, etc. x equals four. We've done this before. But often you want to record these commands so you can do them again later. Because you don't want to have to retype them again and again and again. And the way you can do that is what we call the script file. So, to do a script file, we go file, new, R script. This will open a window. Now, what you can do is you can enter commands in here. So we can go x equals x equals four. And then we can save that. So if I go save, so I go file, save, and I'll save that in a good place. So I can save it on my desktop and call it sample file. Call it dot R, so I know it's an R file. Then I can open that again later and redo it. So once I've got my command, how do I actually get it from here down into my console? Well, what you do is you can put your cursor on the line you want to do. There's a good way to do it. If you look at these commands, you have run and you have source. If you click run, what it did there you see is it just put the command down into the console. We check that by putting in x, x equal to 4. The other thing you do is you put multiple commands, you can do what we call source. The source just runs it all. It's hard to tell what it's doing, but let's try some more. So if I add y equals 13, z equals x plus y, and then we'll just look at z. Save that. Now I can run each command individually. I can run this one, and then this one, this one, and then see what Z is, 17. Or I can source it and do them all in one go. The way to go is if I shut down our studio, and then I open it later, but it's actually automatically saved it. Let's close it. So close down our studio, open it again. Now I can go file, open file, and go to my desktop. There's my example file. I open it, it's there. If you look at the moment, if I type in Z, it's not found. But if I just go back now and I go source, and now if I go Z, it's there. So basically what I can do is I can put all my commands into this, and I can run them one by one, save it, open them up later. That's it. Bye-bye.